We're going to start this problem by graphing the first inequality. To do that, we need to change it from an inequality to an equation and graph the line. Since it's in slope-intercept form, we know the y-intercept and can use the slope to find a second point. Now that we've graphed the line, we need to realize that since the inequality symbol is strictly less than, it's going to be a dashed line. Now we want to shade a region. To do that, we need to use a test point. Now we use the test point 0, 0, and when we plug that in, we realize that we get a true statement. Since it's true, we need to shade below the line because that contains the test point. Now moving on to the second inequality. Switching it to an equation to graph the line, and we're just going to use the intercepts for this one. We need two points. That's going to be the y-intercept and the x-intercept. We get our two points. Now we can graph the line. Again, realize that it's strictly greater than, so this one's going to be another dashed line. And we need to shade a region. This time we're going to use the same test point, 0, 0. And when we plug it in, what do we get? We get 0 greater than 4, which is a false statement. So since it's false, we're going to shade above the line because that does not contain the test point. Now finally, the last inequality. Again, switch it to an equation. And for this one, we're not going to use uh, the intercepts. We're going to just find a couple points that satisfy the equation. And with those two points, we can graph the line. Again, it's going to be a dotted line because it's strictly greater than. Notice all of them are strictly less than or greater than, so they're all dotted lines. Now, we're going to use a test point again. Zero, zero is convenient, so we just use that one. And what do we get when we plug it in? We get 0 greater than 7, which is false. 0 is not greater than 7. So we're going to shade the region that does not contain 0, 0, which is above the line. And when we shade above the line, now we can see the solution region is the one that has all three shaded regions overlapping, which I'm highlighting. And there you have it.